I've pulled the water pumps off of both cars. Both are pretty nasty looking. Uh, they appear to be identical. They have two different numbers. One is 3221. The other is P34-1. Uh, one's marked with a backwards R MP. They are both in very nasty internally rusted condition. I don't want to spend $80 on a either new old stock or rebuilt water pump. So I am going to see if I can't pull these apart and get one of them in a into a reasonably functional condition. I'm assuming I'm going to have to replace uh whatever internal bearings or bushings I'll definitely have to buy the gasket that's a uh, goner on these uh, with a little bit of cleanup I'm hoping these uh, impellers are functional uh, the one moves there's a good sign in it it doesn't feel loose so I might be able to get away with uh, just a very thorough cleaning. Uh, I'm going to disassemble it, get it put into my sonic cleaner, see what it looks like after that. This other one is seized, completely solid, and I don't know, we'll see what we can do with it. Hoping to get at least one of these into decent functional condition to put back on the car. My other focus while I'm working on the water pump housing is to also disassemble, clean, and reassemble the starter motor. When I tested it with the battery, it would spin but it would not engage the flywheel. So I'm hoping it's just a matter of this being all gunked up and a good cleaning should hopefully let it slide back and forth the way it's supposed to. Uh, the other starter motor I believe engages but it's on the engine that is locked up and I want to try breaking that engine free before pulling the starter motor just yeah because anyway this is going to get pulled apart, cleaned, and reassembled and it will hopefully still kind of work. Okay, it should work better than it was. Now I'm rambling. It's been a long day. Alright, see you in a bit. I'm taking a relaxing dip in the Sonic Cleaner. That might help loosen stuff a bit. Alright. Uh, the starter motor has two 3 8 inch bolts that run through the length of it. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get either one of these loose. I guess that's going to be a yes. That came rather easy. Guess a bit of road grime. Goes a long way. Don't know how much of this before I'm able to separate the nose. And I should go find my rubber mallet. But uh, 
Uh, one bolt. There we go, two bolts. And let's see, looks like a locating pin there. Starting to separate. And I might have to pull the brushes before. Yeah. I find a proper screwdriver, get the brushes out, and see if that all slides apart. Alright, with a bare minimum of percussive maintenance. I was able to pull the rotor right out. Uh, you can see where the brushes ran. Uh, definitely needs cleaning. The whole thing needs cleaning. Uh, there's two screws that held this head piece on. Remove those and that comes out. Alright, looks like there's a bronze bushing up front, this plate, uh, this assembly, I guess, kicks out when it spins, and should retreat back down, doesn't. Uh, looks like there's a roll pin in there that... I can knock out to pull this entire thing off. Hopefully. Uh, if I pull this off, I can throw it in the sonic cleaner. Get it nice and degreased and degunkified. Uh, the rest of this, need to do a fair bit of cleaning on just to, yeah. Get it in a decent looking condition. <clears throat> this back cover on the housing uh, came off with a couple good knocks. Uh, it houses the brushes uh, with little coil springs. That's kind of kind of neat. Yeah. I need to do something about lighting. Anyhow, so that'll all get cleaned up. I guess this entire housing may be able to come out. I don't know if I want to pull that out. Probably not. Anyhow, I'll do some more cleaning. Uh, there's a shim in the very back with the nuts that held I guess the brush assembly into the housing these big flathead screws hold I guess the magnets inside and those could use a little bit of cleaning probably just soap and water don't want to damage anything. So anyway, I uh, might see if I can get replacement brushes. I doubt it. Uh, these hopefully have, you know, enough meat for another what, 20-30 years? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
more cleaning. And another update on the water pump housings. Uh, both of them now turn reasonably freely. Uh, the other one actually, the uglier one, turns better than this one does. Uh, I'm going to try soaking probably this one in vinegar to get most, well, help get more rust off of it. Uh, Got to figure out a way to see if it uh, leaks. Uh, if I can just put it back on and it doesn't leak, uh, it'll at least yeah, work to get the engine running. Uh, if anybody knows the source of rebuild components for starter motor or water pump housing, yeah, I'd be interested to look into those. I hopefully shouldn't have to do any uh, parts replacement on the starter motor. Gear teeth look all right. A couple spots where it doesn't look perfect, but uh, I don't know. It's old.